this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up and solve a conjugate heat transfer problem in ANSYS Discovery AIM. I'll demonstrate this using multiple physics regions to simulate convective heat transfer between a fluid and a solid. I'll use the fluid-solid heat transfer template. I'll import the geometry file. The geometry represents a steel manifold with air flowing through three inlets with various temperatures and velocities and exiting through a single outlet. The geometry includes both the solid and the flow volume. I'll keep all the default settings and I'll click Next to set up the fluid physics region. I'll select the bodies forming the fluid region and the material making up that region. In this case, it is air. Next, I'll set up the solid physics region. I will use all unassigned bodies and assign them to the solid region and I'll select structural steel as the material. This completes the template setup. This is the advantage of using a template. The framework of a basic fluid solid heat transfer simulation is automatically created for me. I can still customize the simulation process to meet my needs as I go. In the flow task, the template has already created two physics regions, and you can easily add more if you need to. In this example, the template has created one for the fluid region with fluid flow and thermal physics type selected and the other for the solid with thermal physics type selected. Default settings have been applied to each region, but they may need some attention. For the fluid flow region, I've already set up the associated fluid flow conditions. I've assigned these spaces to be inlets with different inlet velocities and temperatures, and I've assigned this space to be an outlet. Similarly, for the solid physics region, I've set up the thermal conditions ahead of time. I've assigned these spaces around the inlets and the outlet to be an insulated boundary. And I've assigned these external faces to be a convection boundary using the default walls expression to capture the relevant external faces. Working with multiple physics regions requires that a region interface be defined between any two physics regions. The template has already defined a region interface generator that, when generated, creates region interfaces between the fluid and the thermal regions. In this case, it'll generate a single region interface object. I'll review the locations of the physics regions on each side of the region interface. For the first side of the region interface, the interface generator assigns all of the faces of the fluid region that correspond to the interior of the manifold. For the second side of the region interface, the interface generator assigns all of the faces of this thermal region that correspond to the interior faces along the manifold. As the problem is solved, I can see the convergence of the residuals in the Solution Monitoring tab. When the solution is complete and the task is up to date, I can review the results of the simulation. A vector result, a contour result, and a plane have already been created as part of the template. Here is an interactive preview of some preliminary results. The velocity and fluid temperature can be explored here before transitioning to the higher fidelity results. I now want to generate higher fidelity results for the temperature. So I'll reuse the contour result and change its location to be the interior surfaces of the manifold instead of the plane. I've kept the variable set to temperature. I've updated the results so I can take a look at the changes in the temperature distribution on the interior of the manifold. I can also just look at the temperature distribution along the exterior manifold walls. I've reused the contour result again and replaced the location using just the exterior surfaces of the manifold, keeping the variable as temperature. Upon updating the contour results, I can see the distribution of temperature along the exterior walls of the manifold. This concludes this demonstration of setting up and solving a conjugate heat transfer problem using ANSYS Discovery AIM.